gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I just wanted to talk to you guys about this straw man thing that everybody's been talking about for years. Let me, I stumbled across something on the Family Guardian. Yes, the Family Guardian. And the Family Guardian posted a particular article. I am waiting for this thing to give me some room to move. And it ain't, oh, it wants me to get rid of this junk. Okay, because it wants to track me. Okay, I'm not looking for this information right here. You're not looking for disinformation? No, I'm not looking for disinformation. I'm, ladies and gentlemen, I'm specifically looking for the Latin phrase. Um, and so I think I need to put that in because I need the Latin phrase, the thing that's the mini. Capitalist the mini. And you know what? I could put that in and get what I need as opposed to having to search. Well, as a matter of fact, let's do control F and C A P I T. And let's see how many times it appears. Here, I, well, the whole le uh, our letter is talking about capitals, so I'm looking for the Latin, 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 Latin X, Latin Y, Latin Z, Latin X, Y, Z. <laughs> quasi legalese, quasi legalese. Okay, Latin, Latin Lawrence, Latin. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I'm looking for this is because I'm putting together the document for the challenge to the court and the rules and so forth. We're also challenging the process and procedure and the practice of the clerk of the court taking a person's name in the caption of a case and putting it in all capital letters. Sorry, the dog is hearing me talk and she wants to come over and bother me and I am going to she she didn't come any further i guess she knew exactly what i was getting ready to say and he's also now coming because he's seen that i've let her come this far they're fighting with well they're, they're not fighting they're playing with each other right now and they get on my nerves with that so be one second y'all i'm gonna put y'all on pause ain't no need for y'all to be taking a whole trip with me okay ladies and gentlemen what i have done is i have got to turn the speech record voice recognition off let's see there we go Whew. we're gonna have some problems in a minute because that voice recognition is gonna be clicking on all kind of stuff because it kept going and i forgot to turn it off there we go see this is what i was expecting to pop up and that box ain't even checked so this shouldn't have come up but because i clicked away from the window <laughs> I kind of tricked it not knowing what I was doing. So it ain't going to like me for a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, the GPO, I actually typed it in and the first thing that came up was the government printing office style manual. And this is of 2008. And it's on the internet. And it talked about how the clerk, well, I talked about how the clerk is part of the executive branch and this is the government printing office or the government style manual for the government printing office GPO and they do capitalization okay now chapter three of that manual prescribes rules for proper names proper names are capitalized example the first letter not the whole name so what the y'all doing taking my name and putting it in all caps uh -uh, i got the right to practice my religion how i choose and i cannot be anything other than sentient in my religion that's right, my God requires me to serve him with a whole heart. And I saw the tin man and the cowardly lion. Not only did they not have courage, and in order for you to have courage, you must have a heart. But the other one didn't even have a heart. That means they weren't even alive. Well, I was alive, mother. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I have done is I've taken a total of 12 questions to the court that are all constitutional and I have put them in this PDF format okay this is the PDF format that I'll be I'll be straightening all of this up because you know I gotta center this because this ain't supposed to well because I elongated the 
Okay, we got you there. And we got you there. Making this applicable to all of you so that you all can use it, okay? And what's gonna happen is when I get finished, and I'm gonna have somebody else help me and assist me with it. When I get finished, ladies and gentlemen, then I will put it up for all of you to see. I, I haven't finalized everything, but let's just say we are almost there. I have only a few more questions to answer and then I have to end it. But this is all done today. Well, part of it is copied and pasted, the information I had before. Now I gotta proofread it to make sure I'm not double talking and saying things over and over again. I gotta get rid of this stuff here because again, we're not gonna be using this. There's not gonna be a need. We, we are gonna use this right here, this section, because you're gonna state that you did not do this, you did not agree to this, you did not agree to that. You're gonna state that it is your firm belief that someone is attempting to commit fraud against you and all that other stuff. That's what this section will be, all right? Okay. All right, so while that is the case, we're gonna leave that one there too. And ladies and gentlemen, while that is the case, we'll have this document. My hope is to have it done uh, sometime tomorrow. You've been saying that for weeks. Because it has to be done right. That's why I decided to do it in a PDF format, see? So I got rid of the word format because you see how many times I changed that junk up. And so right now, I told you I wanted to keep it it was at 13 pages and I wanted to drop it down. So now it's gonna be about 10 pages. And then when we edit it, it's gonna be dropped down even more. Okay? So, it is 12 o'clock. I've been working on this since about seven this morning. And this is my main focus today. Haven't really talked about anything else, haven't dealt with anything else. I have to do accounting and payments to people at SACOM that I promised them I'd get done this morning. But because of y'all's folks, it's running a little bit late. Now here are some of the questions that you guys need to understand. The policy of having officers of the court maintaining a status and the capacities of two different branches of government, then I explain what that is. How can they be judicial officers and then be part of the executive branch. Separation of powers prohibits that. Then dual oath taking. You know the oath that no the oath that nullifies. No, 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 nullifies. Well, no, you can't take two oaths. There's nothing in the Constitution that says you can take two oaths because that means that your allegiance is double jointed. Can't have two allegiances in the United States. You must take an allegiance to the United States in the Constitution of the United States. Can't take an allegiance to something else. So if you took another oath to nullify this oath then you need to state that on it for the record because that means that you're acting outside your capacity. You're acting without delegation of authority because in the United States, a judge can only act with delegation of authority according to the Constitution. Nothing in the Constitution says you can represent some other entity, some other nation, some other country. Then the next one says, denial of protection of the Bill of Rights and the associated inalienable rights. You have a right to due process. No one can be held, but they're holding people. They're forcing people to come to court without there being any evidence on the record. Just based on a presumption, because somebody raised a presumptive claim without any proof. Probable cause means that there has to be proof. There cannot be a presumptive set of proofs, but proof. Then a challenge to the restriction placed upon the people respecting the right to challenge the statute. See, what they say is that you can only challenge a statute if you're directly affected. Excuse me, I'm one of the people, and since the statutes apply to us equally, of course I can challenge the statute. Because it affects me directly, because it is being applied to me. And if it's unconstitutional, then that makes it unconstitutional in its application. I don't have to be directly affected at this very moment in this very situation, but no, I can challenge the statute because it is being applied to me on a 24-hour basis. Thank you, mother. Okay, a challenge to the district's jurisdiction. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is a district. Everything's part of the district. I don't agree that everything should be a part of the district because then that means you're stepping on the state sovereignty rights. The states cannot be part of the district. The states can be part of the United States, but they cannot be part of the district. The district is just the seat of government. The district is not the government. 
Oh, mama. A challenge to the unconstitutional requirement which prohibits a learned jury for interpreting law and statute. You know, they say the jury is not supposed to interpret the statute. The court's supposed to interpret the statute for them. That's a bunch of bull. Ain't nothing in the Constitution says that only the judge can interpret the law. Please. The, if the law is applicable to everybody, then that means everybody should be interpreting the law. But if the law is not applicable to everybody, then by all means, the court should be the only one sitting up there interpreting the law. And guess what? Since it doesn't apply to everybody, that means it ain't the law because everybody's required to know the law. So that means that junk don't apply to me. So go on about your business, you ignorant mother. See, that's what we're doing here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just doing a short video to let you guys know that we are working on the constitutional questions, okay? Because we're not just raising one. Like I said, we're already down to O. Okay? E F G H I J K L M N O. Ooh, we. Y'all see how many that is? 20 different points. Sorry, the dog heard me do that ooh wee thing and she started to come out and I have to point her back to her room. See, we go through a routine that if I pretend to be acting like I'm getting up out of the chair, she'll run. If I don't pretend to act like I'm getting out of the chair, she'll, she'll try me. And so I have to keep going through that game with her. Yay! We're working out our routine. We're getting into our rhythm. We're getting into our flow. They let me sleep most of the night last night. Yay! And I only had to get up this morning to take them out. So we're almost there. Oh, happy days. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you all take care. I just wanted to let you know we are working on this, and it will get done. It will be in PDF format. And the only thing you'll have to do, again, is fill in your information, sign it, and send it to the court because it will be general. And we get enough of these, then we can go before the Supreme Court and have them finally answer these questions. Now, I went to, I don't know if it was Family Law or Family Guardian. Give me a second. No, that ain't it. I got a, she's got papers in the back of my mind right now from uh, Richard Dimplesfield. And this is not the one. That's not the one either. It must be this one. Excuse me, y'all. Let's see. Is it this one? I think it is this one. This is the results. Let's see what the results are. See, it didn't give it to me. So when I went to that guardian thing, family guardian, the there was a case that it talked about. Now, this talks about the style manual, but there was a case that the Family Guardian talked about. And I was like, wait a minute, really? And they talked about a person who refused to give their name in court. They say they got the right to refuse to give their name in court. And I'm like, well, just like you got the right to refuse to give your name to the police officer. Now, the police officer asks you for ID. You have to give them ID because you have to be identified. Okay? But... You guys need to understand what constitutes an identification. It has nothing to do with whether or not it's from a government agency. An identification is something with a name, a photo, an address, a signature, a date of birth, an expiration date. That's an ID. There are seven points to an ID according to the so-called Supreme Court. Okay? I'm not making that up. Told you I've lived it. Okay? So my suggestion, y'all, is y'all stop. Do the research so you can understand what's going on. Now, I'm not trying to tell people to avoid the police because as I did the videos, the police are there and they're serving a function. So don't avoid them. They're right there to help you. The police are supposed to be there to help you. They are public servants. Okay? But if you do what you're supposed to do and protect yourself in the right way, you won't have to deal with the ones who don't do their job. Okay? Okay. Now, the passage of no amount of time can change the original legislative intent of the law. Court should construe. Really? No, the Supreme Court didn't say that, did they? No. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, they, they can't do that. They cannot do that. Yeah, you better believe we're going to down, 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 right download this one. Uh, 
Let's do 2019. It says that that was written. S. On the L A W of the A T L A N D Supreme Court on the law of the land. You know that law of the land? That's Supreme Court. We want them. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking for the particular case. I gotta wait for this because it's gonna open up in a second. As soon as it 14, it's gonna be longer than 14. Y'all know nothing ever takes 14 seconds. Only a stoplight can take 14 seconds to change, but it definitely nothing else take no 14 no seconds. So like I told you, a lot, lot longer than 14 seconds, ain't it? Because I know my computer. I know how things work. Two seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten. It said two seconds and it took ten. Okay? Just the way it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting ready to do what I did yesterday. Go lay down. That actually worked. Took a couple of hours. Watched a couple of movies. There's a movie called Generation Lock. And I don't know. It's I, I've only watched two episodes. It's a HBO Max series. And I uh, appreciate the admonition. The admonition. Yeah, that's what I said. Admonition. Because I got my admonition. Okay. Rules and statutory construction and interpretation. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, now just leave me alone. God, sorry. Um, let me let you know that I appreciate it when people put something together like this. Courts should construe laws in harmony with legislative intent. Federal Arbitration Act. And seek to carry out the legislative purpose so guess what ladies and gentlemen the courts don't interpret the constitution or the laws we are bound to interpret the constitution in light of the law as it existed at the time when it was adopted that's the supreme court saying that but that's not the law sorry the dog came out again and so we're going through our routine so i apologize so this is just to let you guys know okay this is the, this is the, uh, what do you call it? Dang it, I forgot. Education, I for, uh, something ministry. Sovereign education. No, I forgot what the D stands for. But this is sedm.org. You can find all of these documents there. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What I was looking for is there's a particular case. And if this case is accurate, Give me one second. Let me get rid of all of this because I'm not interested in this. I'm interested in the case. And sorry, she came back out again. And I'm about to go and uh, she just went all the way back inside. Uh, like I said, it's a routine. We do it every single day. Yes, yes, yes. I'm playing with the dog while I'm doing a video because I can do that there. Okay. You want to know how I do that there? That's how I do that there because I got it like that. Okay, we don't want the dictionary. We want to have this case right there. I will put this in case text. Okay, there are two cases. That's Texas, and I don't know who this is. Indiana. So copy. Uh-oh. Let's get rid of Indiana. Bye-bye, Indy. Indiana going bye-bye, y'all. Uh-oh. It's still there. Charles Thompson, Texas House. General election occurred November. This ain't the case. Sorry, she came back out one more time to test me. And I, I just had to act like, you know, I got to get rid of the Thompson thing because I only need the latter part of the case. I don't need all of that. So it's still keeping it. Oh, no, no, it, the Texas part is the, the part. The other part, no. Okay. Let's see. What year is this? Okay, well, I don't need that. That's the reporters. I need the actual language. Let's see. Site.case.law. 
Interesting. Interesting. See, according to Family Guardian, if a person refused to give up their name, they cannot be held accountable for it because the court has no evidence as to who they are. The court cannot presume or assume their name. Interesting, ain't it? In our document that I'm creating, uh-oh, I think I may have lost it. I think the document may have shut down. And I didn't save it. Hold on. Hold on now. Come on. There it is right there. I have to save this, y'all. Uh, or I'll lose everything that I've been typing. I will lose everything. I've been through that before. That's not fun. Uh, oh, it's been saved automatically. Woo, doggy. I am so, 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 so glad. Okay. I'm going to finish it and then I'm going to convert it. Sorry, she came back out again. That's what we do, okay? That's what we do. Okay, so now that we got that, okay? Now that we got that, I've been saying okay a lot lately. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the let's just put the case in instead of me going through Google and pulling it up because that's going to be a headache. And so we paste that and yeah because that's what I wanted I didn't want the other one anyway so this is nope wrong one give me the case I'm looking for don't give me what you want to give me give me what I'm looking for okay so ladies and gentlemen again the case was that a person could refuse to give their name if you have like in California you have the right to be anyone you want to be you can go out there with a identification that says Abraham Lincoln and there's nothing they can do you can go out there with an identification with one name on it only and there is nothing they can do do you understand there is nothing they can do that is the law why because there is no law in the Constitution which mandates that you must have two names, that you must have an ID issued by government. Your name is yours. That's why, pay attention, it's called your name. Only you know who you are. No one else can tell somebody else who you are because everybody else is seeing you from the outside. You're the only one who knows you from the inside. No one else knows you better than you. So you're the only one who can testify as to your identity. Just sit back and understand it. You don't have to get it. You just have to understand it, okay? Under my standing is every my thing. Every my thing, okay? So once you get it, then nobody else can say something or do anything to cause you not to get it. Ladies and gentlemen, this has, as you see here, this has all of the courts. See, 65 more courts, total of 73. And so I'm not pulling this case up. So let me do this right here. Let's do that. We're gonna do keyword search because we can't do the other search because it's too short. See, and this is not giving me, this is not Indiana. That's Iowa, that's North, see? Uh-uh. It says no cases. But this is what was taken from the Family Guardian. So I won't be able to use this. Okay? Because I need something that if other individuals were to look for it, they could find it. All right. So we will get this thing finished. We'll get it out to you so that y'all will has it. And then we will move on from there. Now, I think I did copy that case in here. Let me make sure y'all know that I'm not going to be using it because that's the problem. I fact check cases when they sound too good to be true. Now, of course, the court may have said something like that. But as you see, it is more than likely an unpublished case. Okay? So if it's an unpublished case, 
then that's the problem. Let's give you what this one said. The rules of the court, as stated above, are necessary. Yes, they need rules. So you're not disagreeing with that. You're just saying the misapplication of these rules or to having these rules being one-sided to where they favor one party over another, you're saying you don't agree with that. That's what we're doing. So we're putting together the constitutional challenges and we're bringing up actual challenges. We're not just saying something just to be saying it. All right, so let me let you guys go because I'm about to go lay down. I'm tired! Been up since this morning, 5 o'clock. Yesterday, 4 o'clock. So I'll speak to you all in a minute. Gotta go. Have a good day.